foundation board members are asked to join the board for many reasons, but they generally relate to the fact that they are people of affluence and influence. And this means they have influence in a number of environments, business environments, but also political environments. And it is very appropriate to ask them to be advocates on behalf of the institution in the political arena as long as they understand that they are not the official spokesperson of the institution. They're using their personal networks and connections to get messages put forward, but they're not lobbyists because there's a whole body of law and regulation around what it means to be a lobbyist. They're a friend of the institution that's serving as a communications bridge, and this means that the messages have to be absolutely orchestrated so that everyone is speaking off the same page. And we just have to keep reinforcing that message, message, message has to be consistent. Otherwise, you present an image of an institution that doesn't know what its priorities are. And that doesn't help anybody in the long term. And I think foundation boards, many with business backgrounds, understand that. There's a very strong rationale for why we are asking them to advocate in a particular kind of way and why we are asking them to stay on message. It is so essential that messages about institutional values, missions, priorities be consistent uh, because you want to be communicating that you understand who you are, that in effect you, you have your act together. You don't want to give the appearance of an institution that isn't engaged in following a particular mission and strategy. I think it's very important that board members be educated about the important issues that they're likely to be asked to comment on. Not just that they're given the message, but they understand the reason behind the message because they understand at a pretty sophisticated level the issues that the institution is dealing with. I think some people take an issue that they see per perhaps in the popular press and they just want to run with it. And often these are issues that are much more complex and they require more thoughtful debate uh, before you even decide what your position is. So we have to be careful to keep some of these discussions in the right context. And, and remember, board members are bright, engaged individuals who want to be helpful. So I think we have to go into these conversations about advocacy and outreach with an understanding that most everything is lined up to be right, to be positive. They, they want to get it right. They understand the value of speaking the message that the institution wants to speak, even though they may do it with their own words, with their own friends and networks.